Imagine this you settle down on your couch ready to indulge in a thrilling Netflix marathon only to be greeted by an unexpected interruption a perplexing error code tvq-pb-101 fear not avid streamers for we are here to unravel the mysteries behind this enigmatic error and guide you towards uninterrupted streaming bliss so without wasting any time let's start the video understanding tvq-pb-101 netflix error code Netflix error code TVQ-PB-101 is a common playback error that can occur across various devices, leaving users puzzled and frustrated. While it may seem like a formidable hurdle, rest assured that there are solutions to get you back to your binge-watching extravaganza. So basically, we have got two solutions after a long research. Number one, rebooting Chromecast. Sometimes what happens is that after updating Chromecast to Android 12, when you try to play any Netflix show, you get the Netflix error TVQ-PB-101. But it can be fixed by rebooting the Chromecast. If you still face the issue, you can find the fix to be under Chromecast audio settings, set it to auto from manual and come back to Netflix, your shows will play immediately. Another solution that you can try is removing audio interface. This solution was given by a Reddit user. She said, I tried resetting everything. I tried new accounts. Netflix support told me nothing useful. Sony support was helpful but couldn't fix my issue. Everyone insisted it was my network despite having no issues on any other kind of content. Since they noticed that newer 4K titles weren't working but older HD titles were. So I bought a Powline adapter to test that theory. Of course, with my luck, now HD titles weren't working either. But, in my experimenting, I noticed that the titles that weren't playing were titles with 5.1 surround or Atmos sound encoding. I've been running my sound via USB to a Behringer Amp 202 HD and KRK Rocket 5 G3 studio monitors. When I got rid of the audio interface, everything worked fine on the TV's built-in speakers. When I connected my speakers directly to the TV through a 3.5mm to RCA cable, everything still works. I'm not sure whether it's Netflix's fault, or the TV's fault, or the audio interface's fault. I'm just happy my TV is working again. Hopefully, this video helps someone else down the road. If you want to know the step-by-step -step process to fix this problem, you can visit to this official blog on our website gossipunder.com. Link is in the description box. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, then don't forget to press the like button. Also, do share it with your friends and families. For more videos like these, do subscribe to Gossip Funda YouTube channel. You can read more such amazing blogs on our website. Visit gossipfunda.com. Link is in the description box. Do check it out. See you in the next video.